So hopefully you've seen uh, the system overview video for the retimed system. Um, that is a very factual look at what you what you get when you when you buy the system. So just what we wanted to do today was a very quick demo here from the from the dining table, um, just to show you how how the how the bits go together and basically how the system works. So sat here on a Windows laptop and connected. From the laptop, you see the um, the red cable here. That's just an adapter, as so I don't have an Ethernet port. Um, so that is connected. That's a Cat5 cable. The red cable is connected to a PoE injector down here, which is also connected to the blue cable. Well, again, this is all provided to you with the system. The blue cable is 10 meters long, so it connects to the reader. But obviously the fact that it's 10 meters long means you, you can put this quite a long way away by your finish line. If you wanted to, you could buy a longer cable, you buy a 50 meter Cat5 cable if you really wanted to or, or longer. So that's the reader um, and that is connected via those two RF cables there down to my antenna which are mounted on the tripods there. What I tend to do with the antenna I tend to mount them at slightly different heights just because I think it gives you a slightly better coverage. We usually say about 50 centimeters from the ground. So <clears throat> that's the antenna connected to the reader, networked to the computer. So on the computer, we've got two, two pieces of software we need to be concerned about. So the piece of software we're looking at here is called Session 1. And that's a utility, it's a demo utility, comes um, with the, well, uh, it belongs with the reader really. You can download it and use it with the reader. Free to download. Um, and we, we go through that in our setup instructions for you. So here it's running. Um, it's not actually scanning at the moment. We haven't run it, um, read any tags. It's not actually scanning. And then what we provide to you is this spreadsheet. So what we're gonna do today is a very simple demo. I've, I've filled up with demo names over here and I've allocated um, in the tags field um, 200 tags uh, with 200 numbers. So number one is tag number one, etc. So what happens in a minute, when we start scanning, um, we should see some results come in, just to give you a, a demonstration on how the system works. So the, the remaining part of the system is the tags. So you can um, get hold of whichever tags you like, but these are tags that we make, um, very cost effective. They, they work out at 50 pence each if you want to get them from us. So basically we get lots of these um, chips, we laminate them, number them, put holes in them. And then basically what we would do is you would tell me how many you want and I would produce a set for you like this. So this is a set of 200, um, tags that are used by my club and what I've done is I've taken a few of the tags out just for demo purposes so one of these is going to be our race winner in a minute when we do some scanning and then what I've got here is um, a shoe just with th this is how the tags are mounted so you simply your runners undo the shoelace pop the tag on do the lace up so it hangs on one side you need to tell people which side you're going to be on so I usually stick to right hand side of the right shoe and that means that as the person comes past the, the finish line in this direction they're going to get scanned from the side that's how the system works so let's um, scan some tags and see some results so the way the spreadsheet works <clears throat> you will see here um, there's a, a, a time for the race start so what I can do is I can sit at the start line you can click a button and it will set that time for you um, I'm not going to change it 1120 is fine that's going to give me a race time of uh, something like an hour and 21 minutes when we scan in a minute for our winner in theory so you would click that and there, there, there are different things that happen here you can click um, read chip data it will read it once in the config panel, you can decide whether you want it to keep rescanning. As you 
you will see here 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, once you've done a, a read, it's going to keep reading every 10 seconds. So whilst you're sat just watching results during your race, that's brilliant. You haven't got to touch the spreadsheet. It will just keep pulling the data that, that's written out by session one and you get live results effectively. What you'll find is once you've finished scanning at the end of your race, if you want to be looking at the spreadsheet and doing anything, that refreshing will become pretty irritating pretty quickly. So you would want to pop into the config tab and you would change that to no or a bigger number and it will stop refreshing. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go over to session one. So at the moment, in theory, our race is live, but we're not actually reading. So we ought to really switch our scanner on. I suspect what we might find is that with the antenna there and chip number three there, once I click start, I suspect chip number three might become the winner without us even moving it. So it's now reading, zero tags read. So it hasn't picked up number three yet. Uh, it's actually picked up number five, so that some of my tags that I've got here, it, it's going to read them from there, unfortunately. So it's read number five. If I take number four, and so we've only got number five so far. If I pick up number four. As soon as I've picked it up off the table, it's scanned it. It's that um, accurate. Let's move number three so that our tag on the trainer becomes our third place finisher. It's already in there. What, which one haven't we scanned? Number two. So I'm going to hide number two behind my back. You see the tag, the tags that are on the table happily getting read all the time. So let's move away from the antenna. I just want to show you a little bit about range. So if I come over here, I'm approximately four or five meters away now. So I will now show the tag it away and if I come back over here now hopefully it's managed to read that was tag number two tag number two so as you'll see as a finish line th with these um, antenna you're comfortably going to be able to scan about five meters which is I would have thought a big enough finish line for anybody so what it's doing sorry it's not maybe the best demo but it does show how powerful it is at picking the tags up. It is picking these up in this location, so they're not exactly being shown to the um, to the antenna very well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the whole bundle of tags and I'm going to go and basically give them a jangle in front of the <coughs> antenna, and we will suddenly get a, a massive surge of results. So let's turn the laptop around so we can we can see it. So it knows about five tags at the moment. It's found. Um, five tags and I suspect if I come and give this a jangle it's gonna go up pretty quickly so I'm just jangling all the tags around again not ideal not how you'd expect them to be presented during a race but it now knows about 153 tags and what I'll do now off camera I'll just spread them out and just show them a bit more accurately to the um to the uh antenna so that we we get the the remaining 47 tags seen so we've um given the tags a, a jingle you'll see it's still uh going up here it's still reading tags off the table it's seen 198 of the tags now and if we go into the spreadsheet let's just see which tags haven't been read then so um, so what the spreadsheet does time seen so this is the the key here here's the time that the system is saying it's seen them that gives a result of these times here 1 hour 23 and 16 <clears throat> and then what it's doing is it's giving us a position so if you remember when we back when we started this was tag number five was the first one it it read it's giving it position one um, it's also creating gender positions so positions for each runner depending on this uh, gender column here 
and it would also do category positions although they're not going to mean very much because we haven't really um, filled them in so it's just going to copy the other results but you could in here you would have your you know vet 40 vet 45 for male and female etc so you it will do that and it will create positions for all of those um shall we finish off who who didn't get who didn't get seen um number 94 and number 109 were the ones we didn't see so um let's quickly address those and get them scanned shall we so the the tags we were looking for number 94 so i'm sure that's been scanned now and i think 109 was the the other one so let's now go back to the data and you'll see whilst we've been walking back it's filled those in for us so we've got a complete set of results so very quick demo um, obviously it's not a, not race conditions but you know, as you can see I haven't been overly helpful for the equipment the way I've presented the tags I've really just jangled them around in front of the antenna it's picked them all up all 200 of those tags have proved their they're working we've got a full set of results um, all read in quite nicely so um, that's a very quick demo of the system uh, the next video we'll show you will be something from a, a, a genuine race environment